What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Today we've got a really awesome new thermal optic to take a look at. Um, just a couple things up front before we get into the specifications of this thermal optic. Uh, the company Guide Sense Smart reached out to me, asked if I would take a look at one of their products of my picking and do a review here on the channel. Like I mentioned, every time I do a product review, you know, I'm not going to just throw something up that I wouldn't personally use myself just to get views here on the channel. This is a product that I've used and I have agreed to do this review on it because it's something that I will use and it's something I'm going to continue to use. I um, want to clear up one other thing. They're actually doing a large sale right now. Right now, it's late August at the time of this recording. They have a sale going on until October 15th and there's tons of savings to be had on these TR units. This is the TR650. Um, they've got some optics for up to $900 discount right now until October 15th. I'm going to link the website down below. Take a look there on the website, see if there's anything that interests you. And I can tell you, buy with confidence. This is a pretty awesome product right here. And you guys will see it throughout the time of this review and future videos to come. So this product here is the TR650. Um, what this reminds me of is a little smaller version of the Pulsar Trail line. They also have something that really resembles the Pulsar Thermion line. You know, a little bit longer standard uh, scope looking configuration. I really like the small compact size of this unit. Allows me to put it on the 17 HMR, doing a little bit of pest control, killing some coons and uh, probably get out here soon and kill some beaver with it as well. But then once coyote season gets here October 15th and the crops are out of the field, um, I will actually put this unit on the 6.5 Grindle, which anybody that's followed the channel for quite a while has seen the 6.5 Grindle kill lots of coyotes. But it's got a long range daytime optic on it now, regular scope. I'll put this on the Grindle and then that'll kind of be a backup rifle. Uh, I'll use it myself quite a bit, but it'll also be kind of a loner or a buddy rifle. I'll still be using the 243, using the Pulsar, but I'm definitely going to be using this some because I've been very, very happy with this uh, unit itself. So what we're dealing with here, the 650 unit is a 640 by 480 resolution, uh, 50 hertz refresh rate. One thing I really like about this, one of many features I really like about this is the base mag. This unit here is a 2.8 base mag. Uh, the Thermion that you guys have seen on the channel a bunch that I run the XP50, it's a two base mag. Um, man, I really love this 2.8 and it's got a digital zoom, um, one power up to, up to eight times digital zoom. Another thing that I really like about this, you can see the tube here on the side. This takes standard 18650 batteries. Two thumbs up for that, uh, nothing proprietary. You can get those 18650s really easily, Amazon, um, some big box stores, things like that. Uh, they claim that it's got an eight hour runtime. There's gonna, as you guys know with thermals, there's gonna be a lot of variables that go into that temperatures, um, how long you have it on, if you're you know putting it in standby mode, etc. Et a lot of variables that go into that. That's to be determined. We'll figure that out once coyote season gets here and I start running some long nights with it. It does have six different color palettes. We'll run through those. It also has Wi-Fi streaming. Uh, that's how you do your firmware updates, just like most other thermals. And it claims that it has a 2,190 yard detection range. Um, from what I've seen, and with crops still being in the field, so not really being able to stretch this thing out too far, I would say that's very accurate. And we're just talking about detection range. We're looking for hot items 2,198 or 2,190 yards away. And I believe that to be accurate. Um, like I say, we'll dive into that more once the crops are out and we can really stretch the legs on this thing. Another thing that's really awesome about this thermal optic is the 10 year warranty on this. Uh, man, that's, that's top of the line. I'm not sure off the top of my head who else has that out there. And another nice thing is that the factory is actually in Dallas, Texas. So you don't have to worry about this thing going back overseas or anything like that for any warranty work. Now kind of going over some of the uh, hardware items on this. Uh, the, some people won't really like this kind of lens cap. I'm personally a big fan of it because it's not a hard plastic. It's just um, a rubber cap. So it kind of lays right here or even if it falls off to the side, it's not going to bang around, alert any animals that are around you, anything like that. Snaps back into place very easily just like that. 
And up front here, you've got your manual focus. I'll say when I first got it, it felt a little bit rigid, but just using it, the limited amount that I have so far, it's definitely loosening up some, somewhat. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not like it's stiff and super hard to turn, but it does seem like it's getting a little bit better with time. Like I mentioned here on the side, super easy. Uh, unscrew this cap here, your 18650 is gonna fall right out, pop another one in, and you don't miss any time in the field. Another thing that I really like about this optic, um, the fact it's pretty simple to use. There's three buttons on it. You got your power button here on the back side of the battery tube. You've got your single button for taking a photo, hit it once, it's gonna snap a pic. Hold it for a few seconds, it's gonna start recording. Hold it again, and your recording's gonna end. So that's super easy. Not a couple different buttons to hit there. And this is the big thing that I like right here. This controls your menu um, and your zoom as well. So a quick tap of this is gonna be your quick menu functions. You're gonna hold it for a couple seconds and that's gonna dive into the main menu with all of your options and your specs. But the fact that this is also your zoom, uh, super easy. I mean, you, you crank, there's not different buttons for up and down or single button presses. You just reach up, twist it, it's gonna crank in as far as you need to, pull it back out, and there you go. As easy as that. One thing on the zoom side of things, you guys know that you've watched it, that have watched the channel for quite some time. I'm a big fan of picture in picture, and this optic actually has that feature as well. So I run picture in picture on Pulsar all the time, and I'm gonna be running picture in picture on this too. You get that wide field of view down at the bottom, your main screen, and then when you're ready to get in on that animal, jump up to your top screen, right there it is. Then over here on the side, and I'll show you a close up video of this, but actually I'm not using it right now, but I will be whenever I transition this to the Grendel for coyotes. The fact that I'm shooting coons a little bit closer right now, I don't have it hooked up or on here, but it does come with a laser rangefinder. For the price of this thing, I think today I looked at the website, it's, uh, it's a little above $3,000. Like I said, that's gonna fluctuate. Just take a look at the link down below. The website's linked down there. But for 3,000 bucks, good build quality, laser range finder, tons of features built into this little thing. And you guys are gonna see here on this video how crisp and uh, clear the image is. Man, this thing, this thing could potentially be a home run. Uh, like I say, I haven't used it a ton yet. I'm gonna be using it a lot this winter when coyote season comes in. Uh, but so far, what I've been doing with it and uh, the simplicity of it, the build quality, this thing, this thing's a standout. So here we are just looking down the driveway. A trash can right there about 70 yards focus just a little bit here this barn over here is about 85 yards top of this tower I think that's about 155 something like that so that last video I did scene mode natural this one is scene mode enhanced. I think I like this. It doesn't bring out all the finer detail, but it seems to make everything a little bit darker except for, you know, whatever your animals or your hot items are, if that makes sense. But it just kind of makes things pop. So if you're out in a big field, you know, pretty dark night, Everything's going to be pretty dark except for those things that are alive. Kind of really stand out to you. Just looking at the neighbor's cows here. Unloaded rifle, of course. But man, the clarity, the picture on this thing. 
for the price point. Just awesome. This does have six different color pellets. I don't know if I can change it while I'm recording. Uh, I can't change while I'm recording, but I'll show you some different ones here. Here we are on Black Hot. Man, this image is... Image is amazing. Got red hot here. This one's called Iron Red. Blue hot's kind of cool. I get a little. They get a little wild with a coyote charging across the field. Green hot. That's different. Pretty cool. Green hot. Give you some zoom here. Back to white hot. Let's take a look at this tower and zoom in on it. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. You can see there Go up to 22.4. See how quick it is to jump back and forth. Super fast. So just all in all, like I keep saying for the price point, this thing really packs a punch. Pretty impressive. You guys will be seeing a lot more of this on the channel. Okay, let's season will be here before we know it. Get some of this corn out. This corn over here, or there's corn over there. That's usually a pretty good coyote spot. But just kind of letting you guys know everything is, you know, about a probably three to four weeks away from guys getting started on harvest. But I can't wait. Put this baby through its paces. Pretty awesome unit. So as you can see there guys, this thing has been an awesome thermal optic so far. I uh, really appreciate the company reaching out to me. Like I say, not gonna promote anything here on the channel that I wouldn't use myself. Um, but man, I think this thing has the potential to be a home run. Um, good company, easy to communicate with. Uh, we'll see you know, what people start saying about the warranty work, things like that. But uh, yeah, make sure and stay tuned to the channel going to start seeing a lot more of this whenever fall and winter gets here a little bit closer to coyote season but i've been super happy with it so far if you guys have any questions make sure and comment down below if you want to make sure and see plenty more videos on this or just coyote killing in general make sure and subscribe to the channel happy hunting be safe see you on the next one bye